button and I will shoot you. Hey, Mordecai. Go ahead! Hey there. It's time to talk about Regular Show, one of the longest-running Cartoon Network series. Now, on the surface, it's actually a show that's geared more towards adults who grew up in the 80s and early 90s. And don't get me wrong, kids can still enjoy the show for its humor and wacky characters. That's definitely true. Speaking of humor, Regular Show is chock full of it. The jokes are clever and sometimes a little bit cheeky, but they never feel forced or out of place. And the characters are so lovable, from the laid-back Mordecai to the perpetually grumpy Benson. So, get ready to relive those childhood memories and have a good laugh at how Regular Show ended. Alright folks, the Regular Show movie is centered around two main characters, of course, Mordecai and Rigby, who are both 23-year-old slackers. Mordecai is a blue jay and Rigby is a raccoon, and let me tell you, they take slacking to a whole new level. Okay, let me break it down for you. The movie starts in the future, where Rigby leads a rebellion squad. His team consists of Benson, Skips, High Five Ghost, Muscle Man, and Pops, and they're going up against an evil cyborg named Mr. Ross, who's causing trouble by erasing time. Ross reveals that he has the future version of Mordecai as a weapon, who has become a cyborg himself and wants to kill Rigby for something he did in the past. Talk about a jaw-dropping moment. When the team gets taken down, Benson sacrifices himself so that Rigby can get to a spaceship, or say, time machine, and travel back in time to fix things. However, just as Rigby is about to hit the time travel button, Mordecai shows up and shoots him. Can you believe it? I won't spoil the rest, but let's just say there are some crazy twists and turns ahead. So back on Earth, in the present time, Mordecai and Rigby are running late for work after getting breakfast burritos from a food truck. Just as they're about to get in trouble for being tardy, a spaceship from the sky crash lands and future Rigby emerges. He immediately gets the compliment of being handsome. Dude, he looks like you. Yeah, but way cooler. They notice later that he's dying. Huh. <laughs> anyway, he reveals that when they were in high school, they accidentally created a time NATO through a failed time machine experiment that got them expelled. This shocks everyone there, and everyone looks at present Rigby. Mordecai says, Dude, I can't believe we created a tornado that travels through time. We really aced that science project, huh? And Rigby says, Yeah, blowing up the lab was definitely not in the plan. But hey, at least we made history, right? Future Rigby also drops the bombshell that Mordecai shot him in the future, indicating that their friendship is on the rocks. He then tells his younger self that he needs to share a secret with Mordecai that can save the universe, even if it means sacrificing their friendship. Benson interrupts, though. All right, Rigby, you're going back in time to fix this mess. You better not mess it up like you mess up everything else around here. Well, it's a tense moment, but with a touch of humor as we see the park residents react to the news and the chaos that ensues. So here's what went down in the regular show movie. Skips wants to know the whole story, and Mordecai spills the beans. Turns out, they built a time machine because Rigby got into their dream college, College University, while Mordecai didn't. Talk about some serious FOMO. Rigby got accepted and you were rejected? Their volleyball coach at the time, Mr. Ross, took the fall for the whole thing and ended up getting arrested. Oops. As they all try to figure out why Mordecai and Rigby drifted apart as friends, Benson tries to brush it off as a prank by Muscle Man. But Muscle Man denies it, saying he'd never mess with his friends like that. Mordecai and Rigby even point out that they have easier ways to slack off at work, so it couldn't have been their plan. But then, Muscle Man finds future Rigby's plasma shotgun and takes revenge by blowing up Benson's new car. Well, <laughs> that escalated quickly. My car. With no other options, they realize that they have to go back in time to set things right. So, they hop on future Rigby's timeship and head back to their high school days. So, the gang makes it back to the past, but not without a little hiccup as they end up damaging the timeship's engines. Typical Morty and Rigby style. Skips, Muscle Man, and High Five Ghost stay behind to fix the ship, while Benson and Pops join the adventure to find the elusive time machine. But things take a turn when they run into the volleyball team. Those jocks can be tough. They have to split up to find a way out. And guess what? Mordecai and Rigby end up seeking help from their past selves. 
Talk about a time mind-bending situation. Their science teacher, Mr. Ross, is busy creating the time machine for some interesting reasons, winning a volleyball championship and getting revenge on Rigby. That's some serious dedication. After some convincing and volcanic turn of events, Mordecai and Rigby manage to thwart their past selves from creating the time machine. Phew, mission accomplished. The present duo finally destroys the time machine, but poor Pops and Benson arrive a little too late, all banged up from their showdown with the jocks. You gotta give them credit for trying, though. Uh, yeah, we did that already. The group, assuming the work was over, heads back to the spaceship. However, Muscle Man and High Five Ghost's past selves then show up and throw a wrench in the works. Those guys are always up to some crazy antics. And as if that wasn't enough, temporal ruptures start popping up just as the repairs are finished. Talk about bad timing. But Rigby, being the sneaky guy he is, comes back with some urgent news and tells them that past Mordecai and Rigby are on their way to the high school to finish another time machine planted by Mr. Ross. It's a race against time indeed. What? Benson asks them to get back into the machine and hustle back to the science lab, but Mr. Ross and future Mordecai have other plans. They quickly take down the park crew, and things take a dramatic turn. Turns out, Rigby has a big secret to spill. He faked Mordecai's rejection letter from College U to maintain their friendship. Well, that wasn't good at all. That's a doozy, you know. You've been lying to me all this time? Okay, as Mr. Ross tries to take out Mordecai, future Mordecai steps in to save the day, but ends up getting wounded. Oh, come on! Holy cow, things just got real. Mr. Ross has to retreat, but you can bet that this is just the beginning of some major drama. This is what you losers sound like, and nobody likes it. Okay, buckle up folks, cause things are about to get intense. Mordecai finds out that Rigby lied to him about getting rejected from College U and faked the rejection letter to keep their friendship going. Needless to say, he's pretty pissed off and ends their friendship. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Rigby runs off with the spaceship, and the gang tries to catch up, to no avail. It's a pretty emotional moment. Things get even crazier when future Mordecai gives present Mordecai his spaceship, which is also a time machine, and tells him to patch things up with Rigby. But before they can do that, they get a distress call from future Gene the Vending Machine, and they rush off to help. Meanwhile, Rigby is having a pretty tough time. He even tries to drive into the sun to end it all, but gets stopped by Father Time. Yeah, you heard that right, Father Time. I am Father Time. Actually, Rigby wanted to commit suicide and says to him, I tried to drive into the sun, man, the sun. How lame is that? Then Father Time responds, Well, I've seen some pretty desperate attempts to fix things, but this takes the cake. No offense, kid. Now, Father Time is falling apart due to the time NATO, and he convinces Rigby to apologize to Mordecai and fix things. So, Rigby heads to the future to make things right, and they both come back to destroy the time NATO. But, of course, things can't be that easy. Mr. Ross shows up and tries to ruin everything. But, with the help of Tecmo, they manage to defeat him and save the day. But wait, there's more! They convince past Rigby to apologize to past Mr. Ross, and finally everything is resolved. So, after all the time-traveling shenanigans and defeating the Time NATO, we find ourselves back in the present at the good old park where it started. Mordecai and Rigby have a heart-to-heart -to, -heart to the point of trying to erase their future selves from the timeline by killing each other. Wise decision, guys. Well, I guess that wraps a neat little bow around everything. The next day, as Benson catches them slacking off somewhere outside the park, classic Mordecai and Rigby move, the duo jumps into future Rigby's spaceship and races back to the park. When Mordecai says they're late, Rigby mocks him, saying in style that they'll never be late again. Probably realizing that they've had the time travel machine, they can do pretty much anything. And that's a wrap on this epic adventure, dudes and dudettes. Thanks for hanging out with us and watching the finale of Regular Show. Yeah, it's been a blast sharing all the craziness with you guys. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did making it. Friendship always comes first, no matter how many time machines or spaceships are involved. Ain't that the truth? So, until our next adventure, keep being awesome, and stay tuned for more awesome videos on our channel.